Welcome back to the Good Friday edition of Good News here in Andalusia, Covington County. And today it's with Brother John. We're outside of our studio here at number 12 Fort Square in Andalusia, Alabama, enjoying what I believe to be a fantastic day. I want to get one of those little pans that you can look like this and get a good tan like they do in Hollyweird. And uh, uh, so I can, uh, you know, have that George Hamilton tanned look that uh, I've been going for. Growing up here in Andalusia, there's uh, four words I never heard in high school that were in the same sentence. John Jay and good looking. Uh, unless uh, it was a sentence that went like this. John Jay, it's good looking at you leaving. And, uh, but anyway, uh, got a lot going on here in Covington County. We talked yesterday about the Babe Ruth tournament that's coming to town in July. And all the things that uh, Andalusia will benefit from uh, because of the recreational facilities got here. But you know, we've had a lot going on in Andalusia and it's taken a little time to get there, but boy howdy, the payback looks like it's gonna be wonderful. I don't know how many of y'all have taken the time to go down uh, south, uh, to go down uh, south Three Night Street out by the Andalusia Health slash Andalusia Hospital complex, but there's a lot going on down there. Uh, they've had an ongoing project to broaden and improve the pavement uh, on this uh, on that road and now they've got some great sidewalks that have gone in as they've gone along they've uh, redone the entrances to homes uh, paved driveways down that way some of the big hills have been cut back and removed uh, and uh, the steep hills have now been replaced with uh, grassed uh, areas uh, and they did a brilliant job with some of that as they cut those those uh, hills down in front of many of those houses on uh, South uh, Cotton, South Three Night Street. Uh, they took that grass and carried that grass, the uh, clay that they excavated, and moved it to other projects here in the city of Andalusia. Uh, the engineering department deserves a, a hats off for that. Those folks have worked really, really hard, and it's now a beautiful road. They're just about down to uh, Andalusia Health right now. They've gotten past. Darby's Pharmacy, and this morning as I went that way to get my drugs, uh, that I noticed that uh, they've got an awful lot of that done, and on the south side or the east side of the road, uh, they're beginning to cut the right of way for the uh, sidewalk over there as they come up the hill uh, from the dialysis place there in the bottom. It's going to be a lovely thing. They've also done an awful lot of work out on Lindsay Bridge Road uh, and uh, Stanley Avenue uh, in, in improving the, the drainage, improving the sidewalks and another, a number of other things out there. Uh, Andalusia, beautiful city, wonderful town to live. Come here and visit and stay. We appreciate everybody that's moved to Andalusia and we especially appreciate those people that come to town and spend that money. Uh, we need it. I want to talk to you for a minute about something that's kind of personal. Uh, my good friend Bob Brooks, who I've known, I guess, since we were both knee high to nothing. Uh, Bob's been there for a lot of my life, and I've been there for his. I think we've known each other since we were two or three. I know he was there for the first traumatic event in my life. It's when I had my big toe traumatically severed by a manhole when we were in the third grade. Uh, he's, he and I have been with each other, through each other as close friends, running buddies, co-conspirators, troublemakers. Well, he and I even shot my father with BB guns one time when we were camping out. Uh, Bob Brooks is a good friend of mine. Uh, he's a good friend of a lot of people in Andalusia. And I'm looking forward to getting Bob on the to join us here on the show. But I'd like for y'all to think about Bob and your thoughts and prayers. I, I know a lot of you are aware that Bob lost his uh, wife, Denise, uh, Saturday morning, last Saturday, it'll be a week ago, early in the morning, uh, after a, 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 a sickness that uh, finally took her on out. Uh, she was just a wonderful person a great mother, a, a great companion to Bob, uh, 
one of the most loving people I've ever known in my life. Uh, a super good example of many things uh, for many of us, and she passed away. That was uh, Bob's second big loss uh, in, in about two months. He lost his mother, Dot Brooks, almost two months ago. Uh, he's had to carry an awful lot. He had to, had to lose his mother and function through that as his wife was in and out of the hospital in, uh, in Pensacola. Uh, and as they brought her home, he's been, a, he's been a good, brave soldier. And he needs your thoughts. And if you're praying people, he needs your prayers. Uh, he's got a lot of support from friends and family. But uh, he's a good guy. He's trying to be upbeat. I want to give you that report. Not to tell you too much information about Bob and but and what he's been through, but to let you know that Bob is all right, even though he's been through a lot, and that uh, he's going to get better and he's going to come back and join us here. It's going to be the same old good time, uh, Charlie Rock and Roll craziness that uh, he and I used to perpetuate and spring upon you uh, in the past, and we're looking so forward to getting him back. Uh, well, that's about it for today, folks. Uh, thank y'all for watching us. We hope that you have a, a great Good Friday. We hope that you have a wonderful Easter. Uh, remember this year, it's on April Fool's Day, so you can tell them you hid the eggs and you don't have to hide them at all. Uh, thank you for joining us. There goes old Johnny Godwin. Uh, we're so glad to have you here with us again. And, uh, we pray and hope that you'll have a good weekend and that you'll come back and join us uh, next Monday for more good news here in Covenant County. Thanks for watching.